Good morning from the Sahara Desert. In my last vlog, which I'll link to above and in the description box, I took you on a journey to this beautiful place via a camel ride. After spending the night here, these are the beautiful sun-soaked views we saw in the morning. Then we were back on the road. Cue montage. In the last video, there were camels, but in this video, there are some other furry friends, including Barbary macaques that we saw in this wooded area they're known to populate. There were also adorable dogs, some of which didn't get along so well with the monkeys. Another place we stopped was Ifran, which is known as Morocco's Little Switzerland. The village, which is nestled in the Middle Atlas Mountains, is over 1,600 meters above the water level and is home to a ski resort and a more European style of architecture. Some of the homes you can see here. The area definitely makes you feel like you're not in Morocco anymore. By the time we arrived in Fez, it was already dark, but before heading to bed, we enjoyed some evening tea, took advantage of being in Wi-Fi, and admired the lovely hotel we'd be staying in. The next morning, we were up early to take a tour of the city. Referred to as the country's cultural capital, Fez is known for its walled medina, the bustling, narrow passageways of which you can see in these clips. We also stopped by a few businesses throughout the day, including this apothecary and this tannery, where leather goods are made in these large vats of dyes and other liquids. You can see all the skins hanging up to dry. We also spent time in a fabric store, learning how their silky materials are made from the fibers of plants' leaves, watching them weave the thread into magnificent creations, learning how scarves are worn, and more. Then it was time for a lunch break, where we had this view of the surrounding rooftops and ate this delicious spread. Then we were back on the ground weaving through the maze-like streets. We weren't able to go inside this mosque, but we were able to see people enter for prayer and get a peek inside this place of worship. The elaborate wood carvings and tile work in some of these buildings are incredible. We also ventured outside of the Medina to see a more modern side of Fez, which included bigger buildings, bigger roads and cars, and some shopping areas. Then we made our way back to our hotel as we had another big day of travel ahead of us. If you don't want to miss out on the next Morocco vlog, which includes the beautiful blue city of Chef Shawin, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. I hope you enjoyed this video of my journey through Fez, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching, and à la prochaine! See you next time!